Hi everyone. Today I wanted to expound on yesterday's video. Um, today I want to talk about high assurance code. I've spoken about it in a previous video and this yesterday's video was about auditing and why that's important for the Cardano ecosystem. But today I want to talk about this whole idea of runtime verification as an added layer of protection and security for the Cardano ecosystem. So runtime verification run by a guy named Gregory or Gregoire Rosu. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his name, so sorry if I butchered it. But runtime verification is a company that has been founded in the commercial sector, commercial space of, of the markets. It's not a traditionally a cryptocurrency, um, it's not a cryptocurrency company, and they really haven't worked with cryptocurrencies in the past. This is really a new thing. But they do something called um, K. So K is basically what I understand. It's sort of like a programming language that verifies the authenticity and the security of code. This is the high assurance code that we're talking about. So some of the companies that a K has, um, that runtime verification has worked with have been Boeing, um, Toyota, and right now they're working with IOHK. So when you're working with these high assurance companies, the code that they're verifying or the code that they're working, um, the K language or the K framework that they're using to verify code, it has to be top notch. I mean, we're talking about Boeing planes right here. We're talking about um, little pieces of code that are gonna determine whether or not you're going to land properly or your plane is gonna crash or whether or not you're gonna reach cruising altitude or you know um, your, your cabin doors will open automatically. These are the type of things that could go wrong if code, if it's malfunctioning and it's not produced to the level of rigor that it needs to be produced at. So this whole K framework is going to allow Cardano to be robust in the future. You know, a lot of these cryptocurrency projects can have hundreds of millions of dollars taken with a, in an instant or, you know, tens of millions of dollars taken within an instant. Um, protecting, protecting the Cardano ecosystem um, to not be vulnerable to these multi-million dollar to sometimes multi-billion dollar heists is going to be important in the future, especially if we're trying to work with institutions and we're trying to um, build a smart contracting platform where lots of different companies feel like they can build their cryptocurrency on top of the Cardano ecosystem. Um, if we're going to do that, we need to make sure that funds are safe. We can't have hacks happening consistently. You know, even the biggest cryptocurrencies right now could be susceptible to hacks. Ethereum has had some hacks and they are, they, are, they are gigantic. So when moving into the future and you hear this runtime verification run by these very intelligent people, very intelligent staff, and from a company that's already established working with companies like Boeing and Toyota, like are, is a company like that going to um, um, work with a cryptocurrency that's no name? Is a company like that that's working with Boeing and working with Toyota going to run their code or, or going to work with a project like BitConnect? Like you have to ask yourself, what kind of projects are these companies working with? They're working with Cardano and they're working with IOHK. Why? Because IOHK is scientifically and mathematically driven just as runtime verification is. So you have to see what companies are working with which companies. This company is already established. They didn't need to go in the blockchain space. They're doing well. Check out their website. I'm going to link it below. They're doing great. So why would they even uh, hedge their risk by going into a whole different industry? They're already working with the top-notch companies. They don't need, they, they're not going to soil their name by going to work with some unnecessary project. They want to continue running their business. So if they're working a successful business, why would they why would they stop to do something that's not worth it in their end? And, you know, this guy, um, Gregory Rosu, um, he he's a professor at the University of um, Illinois Champaign-Urbana. And apparently that's a top a school for top computer scientists. Um, so there are plenty of wonderful people working within the Cardano ecosystem. Back to the idea. You, Take a look at the project, take a look at the partners. Even if you don't understand the runtime verification and the K framework and how it aids the code, just look at it as it's securing the code. It's securing your money in the future. So your money's just not gonna be taken away in an instant. 
just because of some kind of new attack or regardless. Cardano is future-proofing their cryptocurrency, whether it comes from quantum computing um, resistance to um, uh, the K framework to the, the languages that they're using, Haskell and Rust, whatever they're doing, they're future-proofing their cryptocurrency. The code is clean. It's, ex it's going to be accessible. Once, once they open up their settlement layer, once they open up their computational layer for third parties, believe me, it's going to be aesthetically pleasing for those developers to build it inside the ecosystem. It's just a matter of time. And a quick note about these markets. I know it's bleeding. We don't know when the bleeding is going to end. You know, I, I, I do not know. But during these times, we need to look at the fundamentals of our projects and see exactly what you believe in and what you think is going to be the future of cryptocurrency because it's here to stay, but we just don't know for sure which companies are here to stay. And I think that Cardano is here to stay. So, you know, if I have any advice during these times, you know, I'm losing money as well. So, you know, it hurts, but I, I've been here long enough. I feel like I'm just continuing. I, it's not, it's not, it's not the end of the world. And, you know, I'd much rather have tokens right now than fiat because I'm very excited about this ecosystem. Build your, build your crypto like a business. Build your crypto like a business. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna 100x overnight, you know? It's, it takes a while. Build it like a business. It's gonna take years, you know? Everyone that has 100 or 1,000 x their money, like Charles Hoskinson said, it's luck. It's luck. That's, un, that's, the, that's the end of the game, you know? But for the rest, Stick through and let's see what this project what this project does. And if you feel like the markets are too aggressive, mitigate your risk. Mitigate your risk. And once again, this is not financial advice. Do what you can. Until the next video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support.